Hi, let's learn how to create this beautiful effect of broken text in PowerPoint. You can either have the various pieces coming together to form the word or you can have them break away from the scene. You can use this to talk about how a certain philosophy has helped the organization to bring the various pieces together or you can say a certain shocking event has broken a company into multiple pieces. It's a very simple and versatile concept to use in your PowerPoint presentations. Let us learn how to create this simple yet effective concept animation from scratch. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. This idea was actually suggested by one of our subscribers called Keegan. This was the comment left by the subscriber under broken text effect animation. Keegan said, you could use the newer morph effect to make the word explode and send the fragments shooting to the outside edges of the screen. You could even have it reveal something under it. Use images or shapes to make a wooden box, a safe, a birthday present, whatever, explode to reveal what was contained within. Thank you, Keegan, for this interesting suggestion. Step one is to write your word on the slide. So let us go to the text box tool in AutoShapes Gallery and write the word broken. Then use a thick font. In this case, I'm going to use impact because that is a naturally thick font to use. Let me really increase the size so the text is quite visible. So let us have it to almost this size. Next, we need to find a way to break this into pieces. For that, let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From Stars and Banners, I'm going to pick up this one with 32 points, star 32 points. Click on it, select it, and then draw this star shape. You can have it spread across so it breaks the entire word. Now you can use this yellow handle to make the spikes a little bit sharper like so. If you want, you can even have them spread out like this so you can have all the pieces completely broken down. Now that is perfect. Now let me select the text, hold the shift button down and select this shape that we just drew. Go to shape outline and say no outline so the break lines are clean. And then go to shape format, merge shapes and say shape fragment. That's it. Now this word is broken into a million pieces. Now we need to clean up this mess here. As you can see, there are these areas that need to be cleaned up and it is not a very difficult thing to do. You just need to click and drag your cursor across so you are able to select all these elements and say delete and that is cleaned. The same way, let me click and drag across and I'm going to clean this bit here. Can you see it's a fairly simple procedure and let us clean the entire text this way. Once it is done, you ensure that all the other pieces around the side are also selected like this and removed so we can have the text pretty clean and easy for us to work with. Now I've got a cleaned up text version. Then make a duplicate of this by right clicking and using duplicate slide option. And here I'm going to go berserk and move these pieces off the slide like this. You don't really have to be very careful about this. Let me first zoom out slightly so it becomes much easier for me to do so. There is no science to this. You can just randomly move these elements. It doesn't really matter. It requires a bit of patience, definitely. Of course, you don't have to do it all meticulously one after another. After a certain point, you can move pieces in bulk. Like I'll, I'm gonna show you just in a little while. I'll just ensure that the big pieces are carefully taken out. The small pieces can all be moved out in bulk in one go. And once it is done, then you go selecting the various elements in bulk and then use your right arrow key to take them out of the scene like so. The idea is to ensure that when you place your cursor and move it across, you shouldn't be able to see any piece whatsoever on the slide. So this is the second slide. Now, all we need to do is to go to transitions, apply morph effect to the second one, and you can see that everything is breaking down. When I go to the first slide, I go to slideshow. This is the word on a click. This is how everything goes into various places. 
and of course if you want to get everything back you can always use your up arrow key and get the effect reversed if you don't want to do that of course you can always right click copy it and then create a duplicate below this then you apply morph transition to this one so when you go to this slide here everybody sees just this blank slide on a click everything comes back together to form the word in the meantime do you want to learn some simple and creative powerpoint ideas you can use in your next presentation then click on the link here to join our five day free email course called 25 creative powerpoint ideas these are simple quick and useful powerpoint ideas i have not shared elsewhere so go ahead click on the link join the course and i will see you inside